Okay, so the next section is when we have a circle and we may have a polygon inscribed inside of it or a square. And so I'm going to draw this one because I think it kind of helps us to see it a little bit better. Let's see, we do 110 and we're trying to figure out why. So with a shape inscribed inside of a circle, I know the, the ones opposite of each other are going to be supplementary. Supplementary means they're going to be equal to 180. So to figure out why, all I do is 180 minus 110 and we get 70. So if you use your calculator, you should get 70. So if I add these back, they give me 180. So the same thing with this one here. So if I want to figure out x, and this was why, guys. If I want to figure out x, what I would do is 180 minus 50, and I get 130. Okay? So easy. But then the problem comes in when I don't just have just a variable by itself. So let's look over here at this example. So it tells us still to find x and y. So here's the opposite one. So I know angle plus angle is going to equal 180. So that's all I got to do, and I'm going to end up solving. So I'm doing my x value first. We'll do 120 plus 4x equals 180. And then this becomes an equation where we just solve for x. So we subtract 120 from both sides. And we get 4x equals 160. Sorry, 60. And then all we do is 60 divided by 4. My brain is not working to do this in my head right now. We get 15. So we divide by 4 on both sides. X equals 15. Okay? So X equals 15. That's what they want us to find. X is 15. And then we're going to do the same thing to find y. So we do angle plus angle, and we do the opposite angles. Angle plus angle. So 115 plus 5y equals 180. So we should track 115 from both. So 180. Minus 115, that gives us 65. So 65 equals 5y. And we divide both sides by 5. We should get 13. y equals 13. So that's how we would do these problems. So try the next one, the next two on your own.